welcome back jacked up fishing well this is a cool video i'm going to show you how i throw a cast net three different ways so stick around i also got a special announcement at the end of the video check it out it's about four o'clock 4 15. the current is just starting to go out going the tide is really high right now i'm at the port orange bridge and i'm heading north we're heading up to about a marker 46 43 give it a good check uh, turn on the fish finder see if we mark anything and i'm gonna i got my 10 footer i got a brand new 10 footer never thrown i'm gonna pull it out show you how i how i throw a 10 footer uh, three different ways that way and i'll show you everything about the net and hopefully it helps everybody throw a net so uh here we go so right now i'm out here we're at marker 46 i always like to give this one a shot right around this area right now there's a lot of pogies out i'm seeing um i got a brand new 10 foot net i'm going to show you every part of the net show you how i throw it three different ways and hopefully it helps y'all out we'll get started here pull the net out i'll show you what it is it's a 10 foot ed shoemaker net from ormond beach um i haven't even thrown it yet so let's check it out so during the off season i always store my nets in five gallon buckets i wash them clean them and keep them in five gallon buckets i bought this net whew, 2013 i bought it for my dad and he never used it he came back and says why do i need a net i'll just give it to you so i never throw the 10 footer and uh I'm going to pull it out today, show you how I throw it. You see the hand lines all wrapped up still? <laughs> yep. And it's got a funky color to it. It's like a greenish kind of color. I hope I got some pliers or something to cut all this stuff off. I didn't even bring nothing out with me. First things first, I'm gonna show you all the basics of a net. It's a 10 and a half foot net. This is called the hand line. It's usually about 20 foot long, 25 foot long. The swivel and it goes to the tuck lines or braille lines it's called. This is called the horn of the net. This is where the net is sewn together and it makes like a pie. Each, this, this, so, this net is custom made. It's sewn in panels, as you can see right there. It's got, a, it's got a spot right here where you can see. It's sewn in panels. As you can see right here, it's sewn in panels, so it's cut in like a, a pie shape and sewed together. If you can imagine a pizza, this would be a pizza when it's all spread out. And it's a net, it's, um, it's got webbing on it. Once you throw the net, this helps open the net under the water. It's called webbing. They sew it in, and this is called the lead line. And this is a really light net, a really light net. So as you guys know from my previous videos, I throw 12 footers, 12 and a half footers, 14 footers. I can't tell you the last time I threw a 10 foot cast net. And it's funny because I can open up a bigger net better than I can open up a small net if you can believe it. So we're gonna check this net out. And throwing net's pretty easy. You don't have to muscle it or anything like that. What you want to do is you want to cut the net in half, just like this. You want to cut the net right in half. That's with all throwing methods. You want to cut it in half, get it about waist high, just like this. Then the main thing is that you can't just throw it with one piece like this, like a little net. If you get a bait net, you might, you could probably do that up to about a six or seven foot, but not with a 10 foot or above. You can't do it. There's no way. So what I usually do, my first method, and this is the way I throw it all the time, is I put it over my shoulder. I put it over my shoulder like this, and just let it hang. Then I split the net up. I make sure there's no tangles in it. 
come up and I bring it just inside, my hand just inside and I grip all that net I just did. Let this other lead line fall down like where you want to throw it. You split the net up just like that. Now when you throw it, you use the weight of the leads. It's not even, there's no effort in it at all. Let me back up here and get a good throw. So like I was saying earlier, you always want to split the net up. When I throw, I just use the leads. The second most important rule of net throwing is throw with the wind. I got a hard east wind right now. Hard east wind. So I want to throw with the wind and it opens my net. So what I'm going to do is use the leads. You don't want to muscle it, you just want to use the leads. See how I'm doing that right there? Just use the leads and just throw it. Open your arm. Boom, that's what it is. Now that's the first way of throwing. Some people spin and do all that. And I've seen some people open some nets spinning, let me tell you. So I don't, it doesn't matter how you open it. If you got the room to spin, spin. If you don't, then don't spin, obviously. The main thing is to get the net open. If you don't get the net open, it's not as good. Sometimes it is good, like I was saying in my previous video. Sometimes your crappy cats get the best shrimp throws. I don't know why, it does. All right, so the second way I'm gonna throw the net is the good old teeth method. This is about, this is how I learned throwing the net. You put the net in your mouth. You split the net up, just like you did before. Same thing. I don't like putting it in my mouth personally but sometimes you get that mud and stuff in there but some people do like I said it's all personal preference everybody does the way they're going to do it the main thing is getting the net open you'll feel the net roll off grab the lead line if you can just kind of like let it open now here's, here's, here, but here goes a throw with the, in your teeth just like this Use the lens. Actually, I opened it better with my teeth. That right there is money. That's what you want for bait right there. Atlantic croaker. So sometimes when I'm in the meat, when we're catching a lot of shrimp or a lot of fish. I used to cast net commercial fish, so that's how I'm so good at throwing nets. But sometimes when I'm in the meat, I need a quick throw. I need to get it out now. I'll take it and I'll split the net just like this. And then I'll put it over my wrist, just like that. Then I will also take the lead line just like I did and grab all of that back over again. Just like that, splits the net, it's quick. Same thing. Open the net up. So that's three ways I throw the cast net. One in my teeth, or two in my teeth, one over my shoulder. I've seen some Asian guys put one part under here, one part under here, and kind of just do one of these and throw. Pretty cool, there's, some, there's a lot of cool techniques out there. These are the three that I'm most familiar with. All right, I see everybody charging for these shrimp, so I guess I'll go work on them for a minute, see what I can do. All right, here we go. Let's try some of these different methods I was showing you guys. Shrimp look like they're barking, so let's see what we can get. Just like that. Oh, that wasn't too bad. See how quick I got that out? That's for firing it out fast. So you got a couple boats out here. Now today I'm throwing a 10 foot cast net. It's got a pretty small stretch mesh on it. It's not how big the square is on the mesh. And uh, 
I bet you it'll get them. If they're smaller, it'll, it'll definitely get them. The other nets I have weed out the smaller ones. This is the catch-all net. This throwing a 10-footer, actually, it's nice and light. Huh. What? Are you kidding me right now? Oh my god, this thing just wrecked them. Oh my gosh. Wow. Take a look at this cast here. Not bad with a 10 footer. There are some smaller ones in here though. I'm not a fan of the smaller ones. Throw them out. All right, let's get to casting. That's one insane mark right there on my fish finder. I might limit out with a 10 foot today. Crazy. Not as big as they were though. That's a little depressing. So let's try the other way now. See how we do. Yeah. Let's see how we do here. Let's throw all these small ones out. I don't want them small ones. Not bad, but they're tiny. These shrimp are tiny. Very small now. Very small shrimp. So that's my second cast. I'm gonna go ahead and move around and see if I can't locate the bottom. Pretty depressing though. Shrimps got a little smaller, but that's all right. They'll get bigger again. Piece of cake, little little ten foot net, nice. Tell you what though, thing catches. I know that. So you always want to make sure it goes down to the bottom. Once it goes to the bottom, don't just pull it. You want to rake it a little bit, give it a little bump. Pushes all the shrimp up into the net a little bit better. It's like this. Let's see if I whacked them or not. Oh. A bunch in the horn, that's usually a good sign. When you got a bunch up in the horn like that. That means you did pretty good. I'm honestly getting about 50 a cast right now and just, just playing around. And honest to God, I could care less about eating because I'm done eating them right now. <laughs> I feel like that Bubba Gump guy. Let's do it again. All right. What's this? Cast four? Ooh. Oh no. I think I just wrecked them. I did just wreck them. Watch this, guys. I'm about to show you on this in the video here. Oh. Go ahead and round this one off with five casts for a check today. That's pretty much it. Ooh, it is ugly. Oh my god. 
<laughs> Worst cast of the day. Got the most shrimp. I'm gonna show you all this one. Get down there. Just so you don't think I'm exaggerating. Worst cast of the day. Five casts. I could honestly get a bucket in probably 30 minutes. The sizes aren't that great. Not too bad. All right. So that's what I got in five casts. They're still out here, guys. Five casts, 10 foot net. All you want. They're a little smaller today, but some of them are good. So I seen a guy casting a smaller net. He wasn't doing so hot, and I was doing pretty good. So I decided to give him my shrimp since I wasn't wanting to keep them. They were a little small for my liking. We talked about fishing. He watches the channel, and uh, it was nice, cool weather. Good times out there. All right, here's the sizes. That's probably one of the medium ones we're getting. There's a lot of smaller ones in there today. There's a subscriber behind me right here. His name's Garrett. He's from Deland, Florida. I went over there. I gave him all my shrimp. He was throwing a little or net. Said he's looking to get a net from Shoemaker. And I've gotten a lot of messages from everybody on how to throw a net. Where do I get the nets? I'm going to leave all the information in a, in a link in the description below. So just check that out. And I'm also feeling given. What I'm gonna do, if I can get 200 likes on this video, on this how-to video, I'll do a giveaway. And I'll give away this 10-foot net I just threw, I just unboxed, I threw it five times, it's yours. If I can get 200 likes on this video, I'll do a drawing, and we'll do it on a future video, the next video after that. All right, well I appreciate everybody watching. I got some awesome videos coming, and that's all I got for you today. Jacked up out. <laughs>